50 15 5 savings rule. Now, this will help you save for retirement and save for an emergency fund, pay your taxes, and pay off debt. So, let's look at this. So, the 50 15 5 rule, lots of fives, 50% of your check goes to expenses. So your expenses are your utilities, your food, your gas, your diapers, expenses, things that you cannot live with ha without. Fidelity calls these must have expenses. So 50% of your check goes to must have expenses. 15% of your check goes towards retirement savings. Remember, we wanna save 15 to 20% of our gross income. So 15% of this rule is going to retirement savings. And 5% goes into your emergency fund. So this is your savings account. We're trying to build up our emergency fund. Now listen, the rule of thumb for emergency funds is this. If you are single and working, you want at least six months of your must-have expenses saved for emergency purposes. If you're married and both spouses are working, the rule of thumb says you only need three months of expenses in your emergency fund. If you're married and one spouse stays home with the kids, revert back to the six months savings in emergency funds. Now, what I like and what I tell my clients is I would rather have a year's worth of savings or for emergencies. So a year's worth of emergency funds set aside in savings, all right? Now, 50 plus 15 plus five, what, 65, it's only 70. So what happens to the other 30%? Glad you asked. Don't leave the comment, I'm glad you asked. So, $5,000 is our check, right? That's our monthly paycheck. So 50% of that, or $2,500, is going to our must-have expenses, right? Gotta put diapers on them babies, I got three of them. 15% of that $5,000, or $750, is going to retirement savings, 401Ks, IRAs, Roth IRAs, whatever. 5% of that $5,000, is going to our emergency fund. So $250 every month is going to our emergency fund. And we're saving, that's my rule of thumb, six to 12 uh, months of must have expenses in our emergency fund. Now, what about the other 30%? What happens there? Well, the other 30% of your paycheck is used for three different reasons. The first is taxes. So out of this $5,000, this is our gross income. Taxes are gonna come out of that. Your FICA taxes, your state taxes, your federal taxes, that's gonna come out of that right away. That's a part of the 30% that's already gonna be gone. The other portion of this 30% is for debt. So we're looking at mortgage debt, student loan debts, credit card debt. We wanna get rid of debt, especially bad debt. Bad debt meaning credit card debt, student loan debt, any kind of debt that has a high interest rate. Now your mortgage debt is okay. Now we do wanna pay off our home. We'd like to do that before retirement, but if we're 25, 30 years old and we're starting a family, which we just bought a home, we're not necessarily trying to knock out our home debt right away. We wanna save for retirement, build that emergency fund, and pay off some of those high interest debts like credit cards and loans, and then we start working on our mortgages. Now, the last piece of this 30%, if you have money left over after taxes, after debt payments, to me, that needs to go into more retirement savings because you wanna save at least 15 to 20% of your gross income every year for retirement. If you can save more than that, that's awesome. That's gonna help you out a lot and this extra 30%, as long as we've got our debt paid off and as long as we've paid our taxes, that extra income should go towards more retirement savings. Maybe not, it's a, maybe not in a 401k, maybe it's in a taxable brokerage account, but just some investment vehicle that is saving for retirement.